And now, Journal Record editor Russell Ray joining us with more stories making business news this week, including a major employer, Russell, in Perry, Oklahoma, may soon have new owners. Tell us more. Uh, yes, uh, Ditch Witch, a well-known manufacturer of uh, construction equipment, is being sold to Toro for $700 million in cash. Uh, the parent company of Ditch Witch is Charles Machine Works, which is the largest employer in Perry with about 2,000 workers. Company officials tell us no job cuts are expected. In fact, Toro may be adding jobs to uh, what will be its largest manufacturing facility. Company officials uh, expect to complete the purchase in the third quarter. Now let's hope we see more jobs there. Yeah. 2018, very good year for Continental Resources. Tell us about the numbers. Well, the numbers for the oil and gas producer uh, look very good. The company reported a 25% increase in net income for 2018 with earnings of nearly $1 billion. Company officials pointed to a 23% increase in production and increasing sales of oil and gas. Oil and gas sales totaled $4.7 billion for the year. That's up from $3 billion in 2017. How about Devon Energy? They want out of their Canadian oil sands business. Why? Uh, it, that's right. Uh, Devon wants to be a pure play oil producer. So to reach that goal, the company said it plans to sell or spin off its assets in Canada and the Barnett Shell in Texas. We're told the separation will allow the company to narrow its focus on its high return oil assets. The separation is a big part of the company's plan to boost production rates and increase shareholder value. Devon said it expects to complete the separation by the end of this year. Oklahoma State has created a way to brand wheat. What's behind that effort? Uh, that's right. OSU is producing high quality types of wheat, so researchers at OSU want to make sure these better varieties of wheat are recognized with better branding. Some wheat grains are good for grazing, some are better for making bread, and some are good for making pasta. Uh, so labeling the wheat with a brand name uh, could lead to higher profits and more funds for OSU research. Real quickly, what are you working on for next week? Well, Canacon 2019 is coming to Oklahoma City in April. Exhibit space for the uh, cannabis event is sold out and ticket sales are skyrocketing. So we'll be taking a closer look at that event and the market for medical marijuana in Oklahoma. Very good. Journal Record Editor Russell Ray, as always, thanks for your time. My pleasure, Rich. Thank you.